Today we're going to make a concrete chair. I got this cheap plastic children's chair from Ikea. I want to transform it into a mold for concrete, so I use Gorilla duct tape to seal up one of the sides. There's a hole in the bottom of the chair that lets water drain through it if you put it outside. So we rolled up some magazines, duct taped them, and then hot glued them into the hole. I used some blocks of wood to prop up the chair so that it was level. I'm using Quickcrete 5000 for this project. It's super strong, readily available, and is only about $5 a bag. As I mixed and poured the concrete, I tried to push it down into all the corners of the chair. And I also tried to shake it a little bit to get out most of the air bubbles. For the legs of the chair, I wanted some reinforcement, so I added in some anchor bolts. I cut up some water bottles to help finish make the mold for the legs. For the first leg, I hot glued the water bottles to the chair, but then discovered it was easier just to duct tape them in place. I then scooped wet concrete into the legs and then pushed it down to try to get out all the bubbles. After letting the concrete cure for two days, I was ready to try to remove the mold. I was able to pry it away from the concrete and then use wrenches and screwdrivers to hold it in place. I set the blade to my circular saw to 1 8 of an inch deep and then cut not all the way through the plastic. This weakened it and allowed me to pull off the mold. And since I didn't cut all the way through the chair, I could use it again to make another concrete chair. The underside of the chair is a little bit rough around the edges, so I used an angle grinder with a flap disc to smooth them down. Now that I know that this can work with a kid's chair, I'm going to try again with the bigger adult sized version of this plastic chair. The concrete came out nice and smooth, but I definitely could have vibrated out more of the bubbles. And I think for a bigger version of the chair, I'm going to have to figure out some way to reduce the amount of weight. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you want more information about the concrete products I use, check out quitcrete.com. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.